Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shab. You can call me Shadowcat as the channel name suggests. And Stashin asked me, where is that Scream 2 reaction? And I said, right here. So did I just opt to do two scary movies in a row? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> the original Scream seemed like a very contained story, so I have absolutely no idea where they intend to go with the story from here on out. I'm actually really kind of curious, and so I'm excited to get into this one. It is so cold outside, guys. It is... <laughs> so hopefully that does not get picked up by the mic, but it just might. And it wouldn't be a Scream reaction with that audio issues now, would it? I think it's negative 31 outside in Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll put it up on the screen somewhere, but it's really, really freaking cold. So it's kind of miserable here right now, but I hope wherever you are in the world, it is nice and warm and the sun is shining and you are layered and everything is peaceful and perfect with your life because uh, it is not peaceful and perfect here. But yeah, guys, as usual, I don't really want to talk too much at the beginning of this. I just want to get into the movie. So without further ado, let's get into Scream 2. Is this movie like extra, extra meta? Are they going to see the first Scream movie? Sandra Bullock is playing right down the street. Nobody want to pay seven fifty to see some Sandra Bullock shit. Thank you. Hi, here you go. What's this? Stab souvenirs. The studio sent them. And it's white. Thanks. <laughs> so does this exist in the same universe that the first one happened in? Or is this a universe where the first one was a movie? I'm trying to figure that out. I'm already hyped for it though, guys. I can't even lie. I'm really, really looking forward to getting into this one. Mm. So they have Drew Barrymore again, but this is a totally different scene from the first movie. Oh wait, no, it's not Drew Barrymore. Sorry, I lied. It's a Drew Barrymore look-alike. Turn the phone up and start 69 his ass. <laughs> Who is this? It almost feels like they're coming for criticisms of the first film. <laughs> I really like the setup so far. It is really fun. No, it's not just a movie. It's a true story. All these kids got killed a couple years ago. In oh, okay. Okay, okay. So it's a movie based on the events of the first movie. Okay, got it. So we are in the same universe. Is it proper washroom etiquette for men to stand directly behind other men using the urinal when they're waiting? It just seems a bit awkward. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, what? I didn't need that. I didn't need that. Ew! Oh God, Jupiter! What the hell is that? Okay, so is this movie just copycats of the original? Like they're fans of how he or how they went about their killing, so they're like just copycat ghost face killers. Baby, give it up. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Looks like she's about to get it. <laughs> I am not equipped for scary movies, even though I like have pretty much seen this already. Don't show me the stabbing again. I don't need to see it again. I already saw it once. Oh my god. <sighs> Do you guys like seeing me stressed out? Run. Oh my god, run. Oh my god, okay, okay. <sighs> Remo like, 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 leave, like, go, like, like, move. Oh, 
Nobody sees this happening. Bye, Jupiter. I knew it was too much. I knew it was too much. Okay, so we had a similar intro to the first movie. I was expecting these to be characters that existed throughout the movie, but no. I should have known. I should have realized. I should have learned from the first time. Hello? Hello, Sydney. Who is this? You tell me. Corey Gillis, 55501. <laughs> The so times have changed. Hot flash, Corey. <laughs> Prank calls are a criminal offense prosecuted under penal code 653M. No, it'll die off. It's opening weekend. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> that would be crazy, having a movie about your most run, traumatic um, life events. Just lower the walls for the next few days, okay? This self-induced isolation you got going is not healthy. Don't do it, Sid. I'm fine. It's, it's never turned out well for you. The two Windsor College students were murdered last night during a sneak preview of the new movie, Stab. Do you think there'll be more murders? What can you tell us about the victim? Where's Gail Weathers? She, she can't be far behind. Are you suggesting that someone's trying to make a real life sequel? Stab 2? Who'd want to do that? Sequels suck. <laughs> no way. Oh, come on, man. Oh, please, please. By definition alone, they're inferior films. Many sequels have surpassed their original. Oh, yeah? Name one. Yeah. Aliens. Far better than the. Ooh! Look at me understanding the references. T2. You got a hard on for camera. I haven't seen, I haven't seen really? T2. Yeah. Don't spoil it for me. Oh, wait a second. The first Terminator is hey. historical. Shh. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, Kana. How would you make it different? I'd let the geek get the girl. <laughs> okay. Is the geek gonna get the girl this time? Let's <laughs> again. Get him wrong. Oh, Randy. Randy, Randy, Randy. I'm suspicious of everyone right now. All right, listen, Joel, mm. this is how it works. I point oh, yeah, shoot. her, her original cameraman died. I was about to ask where he was. Excuse me, Miss Weathers, uh, could I have a minute? No. Just one second. I, I know you probably get this all the time, but I just wanted to say I'm such a big fan of your work. I just finished your book. I'm Debbie Salt. Debbie Salt. I took your seminar in Chicago mm. last year. I was the one in the front row. Do you think the killer will strike again? We have no evidence that this is a serial killer. Can you tell us of any precautions that you're taking? Well, first of all, we think it's just an isolated incident. Mm -hmm. and uh, there's her first mistake. Oh my god, this is huge. Do we? Oh. I was wondering where he was. here. Is he not a police officer anymore? Is he still with Gail yeah. Weathers? Like, what's happening? I need updates. Okay. I'm seeing someone. Nice guy, pre-med, no apparent psychotic tendencies. I mean, you didn't really, you weren't really good at sussing out the first guy, so. But what am I supposed to do? Just cut everybody off, crawl under a rock? What? Yeah, that is difficult. <sighs> That's what I'd do, but. It's not an easy decision, for sure. Hello, Sydney. How are you? Oh, God. Hi, Sydney. Here we are at Windsor That's College, an ambush. where Sydney Prescott has just been that. reunited with Cotton Weary for the first time since she wrongly accused him of murdering her mother. What the hell are you doing? Gil Weathers is so unethical. Do you have any comments? You Hey, 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 That's deep breath. Uh, yeah. Oh, Sydney, share with us, please. Oh, oh, share with <laughs> Again. Why don't you just leave her alone? Hasn't she been through enough? And my name is Dwight. Hmm. So what happened between them? Hey, who got punched here? Again. Who deserved it? Again. Page 41. Deputy Dewey oozed with inexperience. Wow, 
those chunky highlights. That was a time. A murder is going down tonight. I have never seen a place more prepped for murder. Okay, Ted, you sound loaded. What's up? Who's Ted? Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I thought you were someone else. That's okay. Uh... Who are you calling for? Uh, nobody's here. Where is everybody? We're co-sponsoring the Acid Rain Mixer at Pi Gam Alpha tonight. These people are so willing to give random fucking people their information. You don't even know who you're talking to. Like, why are you telling him shit? That movie stabbed. Bring out the crazy. Mm. Mm -mm. Upstairs. No, no, no. Girl, why? Oh, shit. Can you hear me now? Hello? Uh, that is true. She needs to be close enough for the signals to pick up. Boys, I'm calling for Hello? Shit! Hey! What? Oh, Jesus, Donna, you scared me. <laughs> I'm not well emotionally. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Who's calling? Oh Lord. Okay, so I'll see you later and don't forget to set the alarm. <sighs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes, girl. Throw the house plan at him. It's what he deserves. Oh can't watch it. Uh, what is this ghost face motivation this time around? Hi. Oh yeah. Cocktail. Who took you so long? And you know Derek is a Delta Lambda his brother. Okay. I feel like Randy is a red herring. They want us to believe it's Randy. So because they want me to believe that, I'm just gonna not believe that. That's my stance. Empire Strikes Back. Better story, improved effects. Not a sequel, part of a trilogy completely planned. Hello. Yeah, I like those little furry things. <laughs> the Ewoks, they blow. <laughs> hey guys, something is up at Omega Beta Zeta. Police are everywhere. Hurry! Why do they look like excited about the fact that there are police everywhere? <laughs> Maybe I was wrong about that uh, other sorority house being primed for murder. You can't win them all. I wonder how this other reporter is going to fit into the plot. It's not good. It's a single victim sorority girl. Just keep going. Just keep walking. You don't gotta pick up the phone every time it rings. I always let mine go to voicemail. I've been fine up until this point, and I think that that's why. Then why don't you show your face, you fucking coward? My pleasure. <laughs> I really oh ew that is rough to look at. Applied pressure to it. Is she gonna be skeptical? Because I think that this is like the exact situation that happened last time where her boyfriend got a cut, but it was just to make it seem like he wasn't a part of it, but he really was. So I'm wondering what's going through Sydney's head right now. Why would anyone go back in that house anyway? He's putting ideas in her head. I was thinking the same thing, though. It's just a shame he got away so easily. It's just a shame you got there too late. Right after he disappeared. It's not Dewey. That is one thing I feel very confident about. I sent the first uh, Maureen Evans? Maureen Prescott. That's Sydney's mother. Do you think someone's trying to duplicate Woodsboro? I mean, it looks, it looks like, like it. Great minds, Courtney Cox. Do these guys have to follow you around everywhere? Oh, we're attached at the hip. How am I ever gonna get you alone? <laughs> Do you not understand the circumstance, sir? You are concerned with my 
personal well-being and not with trusting me or anything right i mean put yourself in her shoes like her literal last boyfriend tried to murder her like you can't be offended if she is a bit uneasy i think i love you so what am i so afraid of i'm afraid that i'm not sure of i love there is no cure for I don't trust anyone. It's good luck. It'll protect you. Will it? Well, I play this young girl, Sydney Prescott. <laughs> so, what kind of research did you do for the part? Oh, I get I it. The book. They get Tori oh, Spelling to play Sid. That is so funny. Uh, in the first movie, they make a joke about that. That is so, so funny. I'm surprised that she didn't feel uh, a little slighted by the comment that they made in the first movie about it because Sydney didn't seem overjoyed by the fact that she's going to be played by Tori Spelling. The way I see it, someone's out to make a sequel. You know, cash in on all the movie murder hoopla. Mm. So it's our job to observe the rules of the sequel. Number one, the body count is always bigger. And number three... If you want your sequel to become a franchise, never, ever... How do we find the killer, Randy? Th never, ever what? Never, ever what? Mickey, the freaky Tarantino film student. But if he's a suspect, so am I. So, mm -hmm. let's move on. <laughs> well, let's not move on. Maybe you are a suspect. How about Gail Weathers? Gail? A killer? Why not? But she is vicious enough. She's an opportunist. Yeah, she is not. Isn't it conceivable else. she's planning her next book? That's what reporters do, do we? I don't think that she would do that, though. I should have read your book before I took this job, but I'm reading it now, and woo! I, I read what happened to your last cameraman. Yeah, but I want to report the news. I don't want to be the news. Besides, yeah. brothers don't last long in situations like this. This is national television. This movie really, really, really upped the meta. This is about the worst play that you could decide to do when you're, you know, trying to not get murdered by a psycho f***ing killer. My cameraman, him. Uh, Tom, see, I don't need to be hearing about no dead cameraman, all right? Now, I'm warning you guys, I am a verb away from vacating these <laughs> premises. I'm gonna go get me some coffee, donuts, Prozac, see if I can find some crack. Have you ever felt a knife cut through human flesh and scrape the bone beneath? <laughs> it's him. I don't like that. He okay, can see so us. are we gonna suspect the cameraman now? Graduation day, final exam. Am I close? Closer than you think. Too slow, geek. Huh? Manson? Bundy? OJ? So <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh! So they got Randy. Gosh. Oh, don't need to see it. I cannot wait to find out who this f***ing killer is, guys. I just have no idea. I feel so f***ing clueless. He's, he's here. He's everywhere. Wait right here. No, 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 no. That's no. Wait right here, where someone can easily sneak up behind you. Are they training these police officers? Cotton. Can we talk for a sec? Okay. <laughs> it's Diane Sawyer. Hello. <laughs> She's a class act, Sydney. This could be some very, very heavy exposure. Mm. They're all so sus. Why? No, oh, I, I don't know, Sydney. I don't know. Uh, Can you let her go? A little exposure. <laughs> Why did you attack Sydney Prescott? I didn't. There, there was no attack. <sighs> this is stressing me out. What do you think you're doing? Waiting for my 15 minutes of fame. 
You can understand that, can't you, Gil? Do you think that he would commit murders to get that 15 minutes? How you holding up, Gail? I'm sorry about that. With the events of the be scary now. knowing somebody's out there waiting and watching, enjoying all this. How does that make you feel? What about oh, her? I know that you hold me up as your career template. Because she's looking for, she's looking for a big break. Like, would she be desperate enough to commit murders for some big break? She also seems like a fan of Gail Weathers. I don't know, guys. I don't know. If the killer really is watching and relishing every minute, then he'd be here on these tapes, right? At each crime scene. What if he's behind the camera, though? I am not ruling at anyone. Mm mm. That would be breaking and entering. No shit. <laughs> it's gotta be yeah, like that's what I want you to do. What's in there? Seems like a bad time for this. But do you? Or each other? I should be studying. You know I got a bio. Maybe. Dewey. Sandra Bullock is playing right now. Dewey. So the cameraman was at the movies. She wasn't at the movies. Outside. This cameraman is so No matter how hard you try. <gasps> Run! <laughs> okay, okay. It can't be the cameraman, though, because why would he give them that footage? That would just be too obvious, right? No, not in the pitch black room. Okay, there's a light. <laughs> I do not trust a f***ing soul. I do not trust a soul. So where are you taking us anyway? If we tell you, we'll have to kill you. Don't ask, don't tell. Oh my god. I didn't like that. If it wasn't obvious. Ugh! I am so tense. I'm having fun though. Oh. <gasps> Ew! I don't need to see it. <laughs> I am not convinced that he's not about to spring back to life. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Oh no, friend, friend. I don't feel good about it. No. There's no way that this friend is getting out of here alive. Okay. Come on, let's go. You gotta, you gotta look under the mask. 
I want to know who it is. You gotta look under the mask. Oh, no, come on, see, come on, please, let's just go. Maybe you, like use a pole. <gasps> okay, uh, run. Now it's time to run. He's gone. What? it's gonna be cotton i don't think i think it, i feel like there are just red herrings everywhere in this movie i have no idea who i should trust but i just don't feel like it's going to be cotton Is he still alive, though? Derek. Oh, yeah, he is. Thank you, thank God, sir. So he can still be in on it. No, I don't trust your fucking boyfriend. Surprise, Sydney. City's crazy. You know me better than that. Come on, Sid. I gotta have a partner. I couldn't have possibly done this alone. Sid, he's lying! Sid! Sid! Why do I believe him? Why do I believe the boyfriend? Sid, the man is lying! You are dead! Dead! <laughs> oh. So what's this guy's motivation then? Billy was a sick f who tried to get away with it. Mickey is a sick f who wants to get caught. Yeah, see, I've got my whole defense. These days, it's all about the trial. Can't you see it? The effects of cinema violence on society. I'll get oh Dershowitz or Cochran to represent me. That is quite fascinating. I can't even lie to you guys. Especially because this is like probably right after OJ too, right? I told you I had a partner, Sid. Surprise cameo Who? just for you. No, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> I did guess her. Billy's mother. Oh, wait, 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 what? Surprised, huh? Didn't see it coming, did you? I've seen pictures of you. This is Billy's mother? It's called a makeover. You should try it. Oh my god. Oh, Mickey. There's not gonna be a trial. <gasps> Mickey was a good boy, but my god, that won't blame the movie's motive. Did you buy that for one second? I did. My motive isn't as 90s as Mickey's. Mine is just good old fashioned revenge. Mm. You killed my son. Because your son was fucking crazy. You wanna blame someone? Why don't you blame your mother? She's the one who stole my husband and broke up my family. And then you took my son. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> oh, this is fucking awesome. You might just get your 15 minutes, sir. Then you're the only survivor. You're the star. Cotton. 
Do the right thing. She sent you to prison for a year. Bet you that Diane Sawyer interview is looking real good right about now. Consider it done. Oh, shit. That's all he needed. <laughs> they said, you know, we should probably talk about what exactly happened here, you know? I mean, get our story straight for the press statement. <laughs> Is it Dewey? Yeah, Dewey. Oh my God! I thought he was a goner. Talk to Cotton. He's the man you want to interview. She's giving He's him his dues. Cotton. Well, uh, I'll tell you one thing. We'll make a hell of a movie. Thank you. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I thought that this one was also quite good, guys. All right, guys, we just finished Scream 2, and I thought that this was a very good sequel. I am usually of the mind that sequels end up being disappointing more often than not. This movie took the meta to, like, the extreme, but the thing about being meta is that it only really works, it only really hits if the movie is good, you know? And because this movie is such a commentary and sometimes criticism of cinema, I think that the creators knew that this movie had to be good. Otherwise, it's like a little bit embarrassing. I think that they did a fantastic job with it, especially considering that I felt like the original movie was a very contained story and I didn't really feel like it needed a sequel. In the first movie, I did not know who the killer was going to be, but I did have a lot of suspicions um about who ended up being the killer this time around i feel like i was just like everyone was a f***ing suspect for me everyone was a f***ing suspect so throughout the movie there are times where i was like it was this person it was this person it was this person so i can't really take any of my um any of my predictions too seriously because i thought that it was literally everyone <laughs> it did come around to thinking that um who ended up being Billy's mom might be the killer but for a totally different reason. I thought that she was just looking for a story that would really jumpstart her career. There was absolutely no part of me that guessed that she was going to be connected to the original killer so kudos movie kudos I did not see it coming again. I think that they did a good job of setting up the second movie without diminishing parts of the first movie. You know a lot of times when you're watching sequels and in order for a sequel to work they sort of have to like retcon certain things that happened in the original. I feel like this movie didn't really have to do that. I think that it was a great way of expanding the story without taking away or diminishing any part of the first part of the story. The movie is a little bit, a little bit too gory for my liking, but that's just a personal preference. I really am not good at like, I'm not good at seeing people get injured. I'm not good at blood. I like physically feel it whenever I see it. Like I physically feel it. So it's really, really uncomfortable for me. But luckily I had eyelids and a blanket to help shield me from all of that. Shout out to Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson because this was good. I liked it. I thought that they did a really good job. I think that sequels are hard in general. I think making a sequel off of a very self-aware movie is even harder. So I think that they did a really good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction from me. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up, but that is it for me and I will see you guys next week. Please take care until then, bye. I mean, not until then, like, take care until then and then continue taking care, if that's not obvious.